can't wait to see you four whole Earth leave days. It'll be a blast. Okay, my little space muffin. As soon as I give Wilson these coordinates, I'll be landing smack dab right in the middle of Puppet City in a flash. Over and out, Wilson! Yes, Commander. Wilson, carefully locking these coordinates, we're headed for Wienerville. Commander, do you think I should continue to grow my hair? You know what's best. You know what I always say, a hairy crew is a happy crew. Is he here yet? No, he's not here yet. He should have been here flashes ago. Okay, Wilson, locking these coordinates. One, three, five, O, W. I'm in a hurry. I can't see a thing. Wait, oh, okay, I got it. Uh, w, O, five, three, one, O. Is that right? I gotta get a haircut. Wilson, you crazy space snake. You punched in the coordinates and backwards. Assume crash position. One more thing before what? we go down. What is it, Wilson? What do you think about a good tea? <laughs> oh, well, welcome to Wienerville. What's up? What's up? I guess you heard that Commander Ozone and Wilson are visiting. Oh, Mark, Mark, get over here! What is it, Dottie? I'm a little worried. Commander Ozone was supposed to already be here, and there's no sign of him. I hope his plans didn't change. Don't you think he would have called me by now? Don't worry, Dottie. There's probably some rubberneckers causing a traffic jam around Venus. <laughs> Why don't you just hook up the AV-1 external camera and check around? Good idea, Mark. I knew you'd have the answer. They crash landed in Puppet City. See if they need any help while I go freshen up. I, well, but, but, Daddy, I'm standing smack dab in the middle of Puppet City and they're not here. Not there? Mark, what are you talking about? The love of my life could be injured or worse. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. How awful! Is my mascara running? <laughs> Dottie, look, I'm standing in the middle of Puppet City, right where the AV-1's supposed to be, and Wilson and Commander Ozone are not in but Wienerville. what about this picture from the external camera on his ship? Something's not right. Wait a minute, Dottie, everything's backwards. It looks like Wienerville, but it's not Wienerville. Well, if they're not in Wienerville, where are they? <coughs> Wilson, where are we? Oh, my goodness, Commander, we're stuck somewhere in the deepest, darkest hole in the universe. It's terrible! It's awful! It's dull! Oh, it's my hair! I gotta get a haircut! <laughs> Professor Phosphate discovered that Commander Ozone and Wilson crash-landed in a parallel universe, a world that looks just like Wienerville, but it's backwards. Mark's with the professor right now, working on a way to get them back. I'm so worried. I hope they're okay. <laughs> Wilson, I'd like a damage report on the ship. Hi, Commander. The ship, she was a towering inferno of flames. After I stomped it out with my bare feet, I built up my strength with a mega dose of vitamin E. Then I flipped the ship back into its current upright position. Just then, a beautiful maiden came down. She gave me all the parts that I needed. And then what happened? And then I woke up. Oh. Listen, enough with the dramatics. This isn't Star Trek. But Commander, I'm a poet, not a technician. Listen. As commander of this vessel, I'm gonna stand up to my responsibilities. Oh! Wilson! Yes, commander? 
I need you to survey the area. Oh, by myself? I'd go with you, but I can't seem to move my legs. You are my eyes and ears. But, Commander, I can't see a thing. I gotta get a haircut. I'll take care of that, Wilson. While I was in the Space Academy, I moonlight as a hairstylist. <gasps> Listen, you might want to wear a hat or something. I'm beaming you down to Puppet City now. Ah! Wilson, how was your trip? I'm a little winded. What's your 20? I'm outside of Pops and Louis. You've got to listen to this, Commander. You won't believe your ears. Louis, you did an exquisite job pressing my tuxedo. How can I ever repay you? Uh, uh, just seeing this smile on your face is thanks enough. Thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. I love you, man. I love you, too. No, I love you, too, too. Wilson, I need you back to the ship immediately. It's urgent! Hey, Commander! Ah! <laughs> Wilson, I have an itch that only you can scratch. <laughs> ah. Much better. Wilson, I'm sending you back out. <laughs> Wilson! One more thing! <laughs> yes, Commander? Wilson, be careful out there. Something is strange in Wienerville. I'm sending you back out there to check up on Dottie and Zip. Just one more thing, Commander. What is it? Can I just rest a bit? Absolutely not! <gasps> I'm beaming you back now! Ah! Oh. oh, Daddy! Yes, Mr. Zip? Could you give me that book up there, please? I say, can you give me that book up there, please? <laughs> oh, well. Welcome to Wienerville. Oh! Commander, did you see that? Either I'm losing me marbles, or we're not in Wienerville! Wilson, you delirious space hippie, when you entered the coordinates in the computer backwards, we crashed into a parallel universe. Wilson, you must be careful not to be discovered. The results could alter their reality. Not that that would be a bad thing. <laughs> okay. Wilson's log. Star day today. Surveying the parallel Wienerville. Things seem a bit queer at Bonus K. And now, Boney Peace Theatre proudly presents Boney's award-winning performance, Waiting for Godot. Where is this guy? Boney, I have a message. From Godot? From Godot. What's the message? He's not coming. Well, I've got a message for you and him. Get out of here! I'm Boney, I'm Boney. Leave me alone! Mushrooms in the microwave, I can tell you. Marcus! 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 Professor! Marcus, I believe I found a way to help Commander Ozone! I hope so, because Dottie is at her wit's end. I've discovered the proper coordinates for his return trip to Wienerville. I just can't figure out whether I need to punch the orange button or the blue button. So I've set up a special laboratory in Playland where I can complete my research. But I'll need a couple of technicians to help me. As soon as I get the information, Marcus, I'll send Ozone back into orbit. 
I'm on it, Professor. We have two new citizens of Wheelwright. Prepare to be Wheelwright. And now, let's meet their Wiener Rice parents. Karen and Jeff. Okay, it's one big family. What's your last name? Overly. overly. They're overly excited. Hello. Okay, the name of the game is? Push my button. Okay, we have to determine which button to push, the orange button or the blue button. The way you do is you put the pies on the, on the catapults and you try and hit the targets. Whoever hits the most targets in 30 seconds will determine which button fast phosphate will push. Let's go, one, two, three, go! Okay, oh, yeah. there you go. All right, let's end this quick. And the winner of the game is the blue side. Our runner-up receives the silver hot dog. The winner gets the golden hot dog. And since they're parents, they both get the special topping. Sorry he didn't get to spend much time with Commander Ozone. It's a shame that he's got to spend his leave in bed. Oh, Mark, I'm just glad to know that he's okay. We'll get together when it's meant to be. Commander Ozone to Duddy! Commander Ozone to Duddy! Come in, Duddy! How's my big hunk of a spaceman feeling? Any better? I'm just happy you're speaking to me, Duddy. I was a little worried you didn't care for me anymore. Don't be silly! I'll tell you one thing. I don't care ever to visit a parallel universe again. It sounds like a horrible place. Ah. <laughs> but Zip, I'm telling you, I don't know how to get back there. But it sounds like such a wonderful place. I was in charge. Daddy worked for me. I gotta go there. Wilson, you gotta give me those coordinates. Please, Wilson, I'll do anything. Whisper them in my ear. Write them on the back of I'll get a piece of paper when I'm doing this. <laughs> just about covers it. Gotta fly now. Oh, Zip, come in here right away. What is it, Daddy? Did you know that we have a serious air pollution problem? You always told me it was the dog. <laughs> it's more serious than that. We have to try and do something to save our environment. Okay, Daddy. It's Eco Man, the super duper anti-polluter. <laughs> oh, well, welcome to Wienerville. 
clean here in Wienerville. The birds are chirping, and the Mark, flowers... come here! Dottie, what's with the mask? Mark, the air is polluting! You always told me it was the dog. Mark, this is serious! Our environment's in danger! How do you know that? A little birdie told me. Seriously, Mark, we need someone to find the pollution solution. So as mayor of Wienerville, I hereby appoint you head of P.U. P.U.? What's that? Hey, it wasn't me. It must have been the dog. You don't have a dog. <laughs> we need to clean up the environment so our children and our children's children and our children's children's children... Daddy, I, I get the message, but what can I do to stop all the pollution? How should I know? I'm the mayor. You're head of P.U. You figure it out. But, Daddy, I have a show to do. I can't do two things at once. Why not? I can. Watch. Now, just don't stand there. Get to work. Why don't you watch this cartoon while I try and figure this out? are getting really bad here. In Wienerville, we're very conscious about protecting our environment, so I don't know where all this pollution's coming from. I know what's coming from. From Louis sticking clothes! <laughs> no, I know what the problem is. Pops is cooking chicken. That's why the air smells so foul. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wait a minute. First and second industries. I should have known. All the rainforest. Preserve them? You want to preserve something? Preserve jam! Tear down those forests. Pave them. I want parking lots! Mission accomplished. Perfect. You've dumped all of our waste in our new landfill. Wienerville? <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Dottie, that little birdie, he was right. We've got to do something. We've got to get in touch with Commander Ozone. First and Second has dumped so many hazardous waste in the atmosphere that ozone's depleted. <laughs> Who can we possibly get to help us? It's Eco Man, the super duper anti polluter. with Captain John and Captain Darrow. Give my hand. Yeah. All right, look, it's Squirty the Dolphin. Squirty loves Bob. Ah, uh, and, and Captain Bob loves Squirty. <laughs> All right, Squirty. Uh, <laughs> what's, ah, uh, Squirty says that first and second is polluting the water and that we need to send someone down in the water to make a full report. Squirty, which one do you want to take? <laughs> I guess you're going, okay. Now, listen, can you hold your breath? Yeah. All right, now, I'll time you. Hold your breath. <laughs> All right, so where are you from? Wait a minute, didn't your mom ever tell you it's not polite to talk with your lungs full? <laughs> okay, no, okay, okay, never mind. Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa, that water's more polluted than I thought. Look, I've got these tanks you can use. <laughs> Put these tanks on. They're army issued. At least, at least you can say it's tanks. Yeah, tanks. All right, now, I want you to go back, go underneath the water. That's okay, you only need one tank. 
Now go underwater, use the basement door, and you hand the stuff up to me. Okay, what do we got? Okay, I got it. Whoa! Whoa! That water's really polluted. Even the fish can't live here anymore. <laughs> Daryl, Daryl, come here. Look at this. The water's so bad, even the fish need bottled water. Uh, oh, no. Daryl, Daryl, wait a minute. You know fish used to swim in schools? Now they're swimming in hospitals. Uh, all right. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Come back aboard. Come back aboard. All right, matey. There you go. That was... What is that, Squirty? There's a tidal wave coming? The new landfill filling up. <laughs> it's, it's empty faster than I can fill it. You fool! What about all the old cans that I dumped? <laughs> Recycled. What about the old phone books that I dumped? <laughs> Recycled. What about the Billy Ray Cyrus achy breaky CDs? I kept those. You're despicable! I like that. <laughs> Who's responsible for all this recycling? with you yet, Fafuski, the breath ray. <laughs> Not even you and your recycling powers can help you now. <laughs> Not even you can break down styrofoam. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tony, my little earth wench. I thought you'd like to know that I have your little eco-man. And if you ever want to see him again, you'll have to let Wienerville become my landfill. <laughs> Mark, Mark, come quickly! I'm way ahead of you, Daddy. Let's go! Let's win her Tanya and Marlene. The name of the game is Kid Power. You'll be using the waterizers. Ooh. Here's how the game works. You are the eco kids. You have the power to clean up the pollution in Wienerville and stop the evil Eric Von first and second. You must flip over these signs that list different ways to clean up the environment. Okay, the contestant who flips over the most wins the game. You have 30 seconds. Go! flipped over the most, and the winner is... Tanya! Great, great, great. Let's see, you've got stop junk mail, don't litter, recharge batteries, carpooling, protect the rainforest, recycle glass. Our runner-up receives the silver hot dog. Our winner gets the golden hot dog. And the special topping. Eco man, you and those eco kids beat me this time. But be sure, if you ever slip up or get lazy, I'll be back. Fusky, 
Start the turbo engines! <laughs> the battery's dead! No! 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 Ah, uh, fresh air. Ah, uh, Daddy, see what happens when everybody recycles and conserves? You can really make a difference. Hey, did I miss anything? Did you miss anything? Just about the most exciting thing ever. Eco Man and the Eco Kids in Playland saved Wienerville. Zip, you missed everything. Wow, Eco Man, can't wait to meet him. Sounds like a heck of a guy. <laughs> Hit it, Frank.